What's up everybody, this is Easy, Easy Street Gaming, bringing you another Brutal Age video. This is part 4, maybe 5, I forget, in the Partner series. Well, you know, one of the things I love about the Partners is that it, it comes into effect in so many different areas of the game. This part is in the ranked matches. This is a match that I had against the uh, China girl from, uh, from Ace, the Clan Ace from server 276. There's, I, I'm gonna show you two different attacks. It's the same, it's the same battle, same part. I'm, I'm facing the same person. Uh, two different results, and I'll go over exactly what, what's going on. I chose this lineup, which is uh, Green Demon Killer, Green Colonel, Blue Dagger, Blue Berserker. And I chose the two healer. It's an attack, attack, healer, healer combination because they have the blue nomad, which is notoriously the strongest uh, hero in the game. They also have the, the blue colonel, and she's a, she's a great healer. So I thought with the two the two attack or two healer, I'd be able to to handle them. Now I also have two level. Uh, th I'm sorry, three level forty partners. They had two, and they had uh, their colonel and their green dragon were. Uh, level 35 so I had an advantage on level uh, but that didn't matter <laughs> as you're about to see one of the great uh, if you just saw uh, blue nomad just took out the the blue daggers now he has his uh, rejuvenation or whatever you call it he comes right back they all take a swat at him but he ends up going down the beginning of the next round at this point you kind of already know it's over uh, berserker keeps on healing him but now it's four against two the the, the green Dragon Man is still in there, so he keeps on speeding him up, and it ended up being the biggest disadvantage I had, outside of being overpowered by a Nomad, was the Green Dragon Man. Now they had an attack, attack, healer, speedster, but the, the thing was is that both their attackers, both the the Green Demon Man and the Blue uh, Blue Nomad, no, the Green <laughs> Demon Killer, Blue Nomad, they both heal each other after many attacks so they had two heroes that would heal each other then they had a healer then they had the speedster now what I did is I had the attacker attacker healer healer and I kind of went over why I did that uh, mainly because they had the blue blue nomad I know that he's hard to kill even if he's the last one alive and you have two or three heroes left sometimes you can he can overcome it because every time he swings he regains like 5,000 hit points what they had was the attacker attacker speedster healer I didn't take into consideration how much of an impact that the green dragon man was gonna have in it he ended up getting them several extra attacks over over my heroes so they had more attacks they had more power their one healer I think uh, I'm gonna go with, uh, let's look at that next that was another part of the disadvantage was they used one healer and she was about as effective as my two so I, I thought the two healers were going to be what I needed to overcome the, the blue nomad it ended up being that the green dragon man was their big advantage so what I did was I removed one of the healers and I put in the red nomad and his his retaliation ability kind of nullifies the green dragon man and you'll see what I mean what I'm talking about right here after an attack if they attack the red red nomad he'll go in and attack them right back so he that's how he was able to get in a bunch of extra attacks and now right at the beginning of the match that we took out the green dragon man so now he's eliminated they have no more speed advantage and that was a good one-two punch between daggers and red nomad and now every time red nomad gets attacked I think he gets attacked seven times and five of those times he, re he retaliates and, and attacks right back so he doesn't have to wait for his turn he just retaliates against anyone that attacks him Including if they do an, uh, an all-party attack. I believe that the, the green demon killer does an all-party the earthquake and then nomad ends up uh, re retaliating against him Also As you're leveling up your partners The red nomad I have him I have attack percentage on all three on both hands and his helmet and He does some monster uh, 
critical rate attacks. I've seen his uh, critical rate go to 17,000 so far. Uh, daggers just landed at 14,000 just there. And now, no one's died yet. It's down to the blue nomad. Not even blue nomad can overcome that when you have two big attackers like, like daggers and red nomad. Uh, red nomad just went down, but now it's you know three against one and so it, analyze your partners make changes and try to attack the same person again it's a great way to, to kind of uh, to see if you can make the right changes and overcome some of the obstacles you have quick video hope you enjoyed it it's been easy take care everybody here we go